intervention of the Consul General and the police leadership. The local community in Benoni claims that Nigerians in the com or some Nigerians in the community were destroying their youths, especially their girl children, with drugs and bringing them into the prostitution industry, and they were not happy. In addition, they also complained that the situation has worsened to the point whereby Nigerians are now receivers of stolen property. They send their small kids, young boys, to go steal property to come sell to them. They complained to the police authorities. Nothing serious was done. So at the end of the day, they decided to resort to self-help. They just beat someone now. Another Nigerian guy. Adewale Ubuntayo, whom can be heard in that eyewitness video, runs a business in the community. They now started identifying the dealers, like the drug sellers, saying, no, we now finish with the users, so now it's the turn of the sellers, so that the sellers also have to be disciplined. Mm -hmm. I understand it's not everybody that they were attacking. Yes, ma'am. Uh, it's not everyone that they are attacking. I think they got their own, as I said earlier on. Like so it's not every Nigerian. Yeah, not every Nigerian, to be precise. The, anyone that they suspect dealing with drugs, then they will attack the person and tell them that, listen, you must stop. It started with discipline beating and assaulting and things like that. But now it was just so unfortunate that Ugoshi could die in the process of uh, the, the assault. We've had no success in our effort to speak with the Benoni Taxi Association, but they sat at a situation meeting with the Nigerian Consul General, the police, the Independent Police Investigative Directorate, and some leaders of the Nigerian community. During the meeting, the leaders made commitments to end the attacks. And the meeting ended well because we decided as an outcome to establish a Benoni first Response. community relations. Okay. It's supposed to be a permanent thing to meet periodically. And the objective is it will serve as a bridge to enhance and promote inter-community harmony to end the ongoing attacks as well as a platform for early warning and information sharing. Those were the objectives. That forum is already established. We're trying to get the necessary Nigerians to represent the community. The next meanwhile, the Nigerian Consulate General has released a movement advisory to Nigerians in Benoni to stay off the streets and be security conscious while efforts continue to end the attacks. A murder case has also been opened over the death of Chimuko Ugochuku. From Johannes. Do you really notice that uh, South Africa, they are complaining the same complaining over and over? And uh, I keep asking myself, uh, like, how the, does this thing uh, even possible? I'm not the one saying it all. The Nigerian community in South Africa, they are the one saying what the South Africa are saying. And people are sending me more video about this. What is, is is really happening in South Africa? And also me, I'm not I'm not in South Africa. I'm in Ghana. I'm in Ghana, they but uh, I following what people are sending to me. And when they send to me, I ask them, give me more explanation about what is what you, what you said that is happening in South Africa. And majority of them are, are like they they are explaining to me. And majority of the South African people are telling me that uh, Nigerians are trafficking their children, even the women should. I hope, I hope you you hear from the video already. I'm not the one saying it again. Are you already hearing uh, with the Nigerian community, man? The I know northern are descent, and the man claiming is a Nigerian community. They, are, they have their own community in South Africa. And the man also say what the South African people are saying. I'm not the one saying it. So my advice to, to a Nigerian, when you are a Nigerian trying to avoid yourself from things that uh, you get them hungry, if you know that this is what they are doing and uh, you know this is what you are doing, your, some of, of people are doing and they do not like, try to avoid yourself so that the country can get a good name. 
so that the country can also get a good name because the way you keep presenting in a bad way the image of the country will be damaging there me you are we are not we are not uh, protecting the image of nigerians out there you people who are uh, you people in abroad supposed to project the good image of nigeria out there so try to protect it by stopping doing things that you go affect the order especially when you are using nigerian passport to travel and people say oh you are in nigeria yay people will start to talk good thing about you not people talking bad thing about you when people hear you are in nigerians and people started talking bad thing oh nigerians is this nigerians is that nigerians are bad nigerians are criminal nigerians are fraudster nigerians are that no 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 why people are saying that because the way you treat people closer to you maybe you, you those people closer to you you treat them bad now the people now realize that mm, when they see Nigeria because of the way you treat them, when they see Nigeria and they will say, oh, Nigerians are criminal, Nigerians are froster, Nigerians are did that, Nigerians are this, because some of us already harming them. That's why. Sometimes when issues like this happens, we most at times address the symptoms without going to the roots. And now we end up concluding with misconception that South Africans hate other African foreigners in their country. As a Ghanaian living in South Africa, I've come to know that one of the reasons why South Africans prefer to live with the Europeans or the Westerners over their African fellows is the poor sanitation habits of some of us Africans living in South Africa. And I know I have said this even though I've said some. But still, some people will come in my DM and be like, I am trying to side with South Africans. Probably because some of them are also guilty of what I'm saying. But it still doesn't change the fact that no matter how borderless and united we are hoping for Africa to be, we are still foreigners living in another person's country. And so we are not above the law and order of that country. Oh yeah, the fact that you don't believe in gravity doesn't mean that gravity doesn't exist. Once you jump up, you will definitely come down. So far as you don't own an ID of that country, it means that you are not a citizen. You are a foreigner. You are a visitor. And so we must act as such and abide by the laws and order of the household we came visiting. Because the attitude and habit of some of us African foreigners in the places where we are occupying here in South Africa with regards to sanitation, poor sanitation, is not not. And now when you go to places where these Western foreigners are occupying here in South Africa, you will know for yourself whether they are destroying the place or they are improving the surroundings. But let's be sincere to ourselves. Now will you welcome and live with a visitor who doesn't add any value of good sanitation to the surroundings of your house and your country? If you are a landlord or a landlady, will you rent your house out to a person you know by record that they are messy? And they have bad sanitation habits let's be sincere i know that it is not all of us african foreigners living in south africa that are messy and are of poor sanitation habits definitely no i can't even say that moreover i am also a foreigner living here in this country and so it wouldn't even make sense there are some of us who are very clean and law abiding but sometimes when one onion gets rotten it affects the rest of the onions in the sack and so, in this case, the citizens of South Africa are using preventive measures by any means possible to save their country. Because they know that that is all they have got. Why? Because they don't know the attitude and character of those who are wanting to come and then live here. And because the human head is not like any fruit that you can just cut and see what is inside. Now, the record, character and attitude of some of us who are living here already has become the basics of trust in this regard. And sometimes when we talk about this and try to call incompetence to order, some people are so allergic to the truth that they now begin to use the sentiment of Pan-Africanism to gain position. Of course, yes, we are all striving for one Africa, but we must first face our bad attitude as African citizens first. If you can't face it, then you must leave it there in your country before you even apply for visa. Because poor sanitation habits can have severe consequences on the environment, public health, and then community relationship if our concept of Africa becoming one at all costs is to ignore the fact that the innocent will suffer sicknesses and diseases like cholera, typhoid, 
and, and diarrhea and etc etc then it is not unity at its best and these sicknesses and diseases are found mostly in places where african foreigners are occupying here in this country sometimes we look at the beauty and sanity of places like america dubai malaysia singapore and etc etc and we wish that our countries are also like that but are we willing to pay the price that citizens of these countries paid that made their country be and look like that as african citizens sometimes it is so easy to point judgmental fingers at our leaders and blame them for the poor sanitation crisis here in africa until we begin to ask ourselves these questions that if there is no policeman or watchman on the street to make sure are we citizens not going to drop trash at where it is not supposed to be are we not going to urinate and dump trash where they are not supposed to be when no policeman or watchman is standing there to make sure before we begin to blame our leaders for not enforcing law and order with regards to poor sanitation we should know this as african citizens that a person's character is what they do if no one is watching must foreign national be deported from south africa yes because when you're staying in a country with no papers with no legal paper you deserve to be deported you deserve to be arrested actually because no country in the world that supports support you know uh, undocumented people people that are staying in the country illegally because they won't be able to identify who's doing what and who's doing what that is why people need to be deported people that do not have papers some do, do, do need to be arrested but in the case of south africa however it's a kind of different scenario because uh, these people, they've been staying in South Africa for a very long time. Some they have 20 years, some they have uh, 30 years and more. And therefore they've been, uh, they've been, you know, married to South Africans, most of them. Nigerians, Congolese and uh, Cameroonians, Zimbabweans, the entire continent actually. They've been married to South Africans. And you know these people from outside, they do produce a lot. So they have five kids, seven, some eight, you know, you know yourself. So, who's going to look after these kids if these people are to be deported today to their countries? Who's going to look after their kids? That's the problem when it comes to South Africa. And these people, they are owning businesses. If you come to Western Cape, you see they are owning businesses, uh, a lot of business actually. Businesses, shops, you know, they, they, some they, they are renting houses, some they even bought their houses. So, what will happen if these people are to be deported today? I want your answers, South Africans, non-South Africans, Africans actually. I want your answer, put your answer in the comment and do share some idea as well. Thank you. What is this lack of tolerance with the Igbos? Why is it that Igbos are not tolerant of other people? Why is it that Igbos are not welcoming to other tribes in Nigeria? Every tribe in Nigeria has woken up to the reality of this country. They've all understood the fact that no region, no ethnic group in Nigeria is an island. Igbos are claiming that they are being marginalized in Nigeria. And yet, we are not doing anything to show that we do not deserve that marginalization. We are not doing anything to, to, to discourage this marginalization. We are not embracing people from other parts of the country. We want to be the president of Nigeria. We want an Igbo man to be the president of Nigeria. But we cannot receive we cannot welcome nigerians from other parts of nigeria how is it possible why are we deceiving ourselves we have idp camps in every geopolitical zones in nigeria in the south south we have idp camp go to Edo state they have idp camp there there is idp camp in lagos state ogun state of course ogun state has always been a home for refugees from every part of Africa, Ogun State, it has always been a home for every displaced persons in Africa, not just in Nigeria. There are IDP camps in every geopolitical zone in Nigeria except the Southeast. Just for once, they propose to bring an IDP camp in Imo State, and some youth in Imo State went and bombed down a national open university. Are we not aware that both refugees and the internally displaced people? belongs to united nation they are all children of united nation united nation takes care of these people united nation is aware of these people's existence 
It is the primary responsibility of United Nations to, pro to protect and provide for these people. And you want, to, you want Biafra, but you cannot receive internally displaced people in your home. What kind of case do you want to make in United Nations so you can have your own country? When you are so inhuman, when you are so intolerant, when, when you are not welcoming to people who are victims of circumstances, to people who are victims of terrorism, to people who are victims of war, are we not aware that although these people from the north are the internally displaced people today, tomorrow it could be we. It could be we. Something could happen tomorrow. It, it could be a natural disaster. And we will need other people to accommodate us. We will need other people to receive us. We will need other people to fend for us. Why are we so intolerant? Why are we like this? It is very unfortunate. Some few Igbos are just busy giving Igbos bad name, giving Igbos bad image. And some gullible ones are there all over the social media, clapping for them, praising them. Well, one day the table will turn around, and I hope he will not complain. Now, you need to also listen to Nigeria to a Nigeria. Nigeria, Nigeria itself to Nigeria. Telling fellow Nigeria not to make the closed border for Nigerians to no enter Nigeria. <laughs> Inside Nigeria, my point of view is just that before you now coming now to see that uh, South Africa are doing bad thing, Ghanaians are doing this to Nigeria. Now we should first think what we the Nigerians ourselves in, in, in including between Nigerians what we are doing to ourselves. Imagine in Nigeria, there are some parts in Nigeria that me I'll travel to, they will see me as a foreigner in the land. Which is, I'm going to be addressing that video this day. I'm going to be bringing things like that for most of you to understand how Nigerians are racist to their self. I say Nigerian, entire Nigeria. They are so racist to their self. Nigeria to Nigeria. I hope you understand. Imagine me as a Nigerian travel to Ghana. I can't say Ghanaians treat me bad. I can't say so. But I can say that in Nigeria, I have received a lot of treatment. Maybe when I was from my own state to another state, they see me as a foreigner there. And this is the kind of treatment I got in Nigeria, which is we are going to talk about it because right now I'm ready to talk. That's why right. from today, we are going to be talking what Nigeria to Nigeria doing to Nigeria. Then when things like this is going on in the outside country, you don't need to blame them. Say, oh, why are these people doing this to Nigeria? Why are you in Nigeria? Self? You people are doing that to yourself. Why this video? I'm coming. South South government shut down our borders. We don't want any more migration into our land. And if the government is not going to do it, we are going to start doing it. If not, they send them come off for our land. We will begin doing like that one we will do for Urugu is still the sweet milk can reach today because some the kind of people that have been migrating into our lands the kind of character that have been migrating into our land is what we don't want yes because migration can cause demographic changes you know both for the um, immigrants and for their hosts because when you pack yourself to come up for your land your land will be empty. It becomes unproductive. And when you depart yourself, they go other people's land. Some things could begin to happen because, you know, when you come, like it causes an um, imbalance, you know, gender imbalance and all that. And they come with their criminality mentality. You know, like there's always one problem. Like if it's not social problem, it's, there is one thing or the other that will always be different because when there are no similarities in the culture, it is always very hard to accommodate some kind of people. And the kind of people that we are accommodating in the South-South right now is the kind of people that we don't need. Yes, you already know who I'm talking about. These are the kind of people that we don't need. So our South-South government should do something you know, before it becomes a general problem, like we could turn street wala. And the funny thing is, you see these people that I'm talking about, they come online to say, you know, if you do anything, you know, if you do anything, you are in my land, I will do you something. That one we will do for Urugu to you today, the thing is still the sweetness. 
I go do something and my land today, you know, they your land. I go do something and the state government won't be able to do anything about it because now you carry your wallet, come meet me for my land. And forget the fact, say you buy land for one place, it doesn't matter because you buy land for their builders for the you know, me say they're not send you, they will send you come up from your own property and nothing you could do about that, nothing the government will do about that because that fight will be forever. So everybody should stay in their region. We won't suppose gay law self will be say, you know, like um, immigration law for Nigeria. Because ten thousand of Una, they come up from our region every week, they go other people region. Over ten thousand they come out every week, every month, they go other people region. To go alter the demographics of other people region. I don't know how they talk the English, you know, social imbalance, mental imbalance, like everything now they carry come now carry on a criminal mentality come on our carry on a lost on a loss for quick money on our carry and come on our car everybody should stay in their region and develop their region you know so the south south people i'm even happy with so many things that i've been seeing on twitter lately like especially from my equity brothers they don't they show them pepper now. And that one we will show pepper for Urugu. That one I just one example. And when they said they wanted to do their Bia fraud party in Asaba, we didn't allow them to do it in Asaba. I told them, I said that Bia fraud party will never ever hold in Asaba. Then come online, come laugh. When I do I'm, no Bia Bia sit on a carry and go. Now Bia sit on a carry and go last last now. We don't tell them I say anything Bia fraud will never happen in the South South. Never. When I feel high, they do them inside on the house. So, but the day you will bring it out to come and talk anything Biafra in South South, you will leave that day. And we are going to make sure of it. We are going to leave that day. So now we need our governors to be China proactive than they call them because we don't want treatment, we want prevention. So it is better to prevent something that for it to happen then you start looking for solution. No. Because people of the South South are very, very angry. People of the South South are angry. Yes, because we have invaders in our land. We have um, occupiers. We have termites. We have rats. We have cockroaches that have invaded our land. These people, they are an, an invasive species. I don't know how they call them. Yes, they be invasive species. Now they be, they be termites. Allow, allow only one. They go turn to hundred now. Now, and there is there is nothing bad in that. Um, actually. There is nothing bad in hosting people from other cultures. But when they come and they try to lord over you in your own place, it does not work like that. You know, we have kept quiet for a very long time and we are not going to do that again. We are not going to do that again. Yes. So now we're going to follow them bumper to bumper. I like waiting the happen for a query, especially waiting the happen the day before yesterday. I really, really, really like her. Yes. And now, I like and say all those our street bros don't begin come out come they want them all those things we did do for your region no carry and come our region no bring that come there that one why i like what this do that their last council meeting of blah 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 that's why he mentioned their useless region only he didn't mention the south south so small small you go no say you know say you know the stretch in hand where in hand no supposed reach yes you know begin stretch hand where in hand no supposed reach So we might be quiet, we might be, we might be very, very reserved people, you know, we don't look for trouble. And, you know, it's very easy, we can easily coexist with anybody, I've been a bit with anybody, I don't know how they talk the English, of course. You can move from your region, you can move next to my house, we can be friends, we can work together, we can do business together. But say you can't come there, you can't feel like, say no, because I buy land for you and I need get the pay. They will pursue you for more, they will collect your land for your hand. Last time they will, they will give you your money back. Even if they don't give you your money back, nothing will happen. Read my lips, nothing will happen. I told you guys a story about something that happened in Ekwe now. Yeah? And I see what's happened for Ekwe. See, today what's happened? Nothing. And I see what's happened for Rogun last year. That pharmacy guy. What's happened to today? Nothing. We are in there now. You don't go back in village for for east. You make noise, make noise, make noise, make noise. No, they don't forget that. You don't go past like that. When sheriff begin demolish house for for Asaba, see how they come online, come they make noise. 
we made you governor, blah, blah. Imagine the insult. You carry yourself, come from your land. You come another person now. You come to tell the governor, say, now nah, you make him governor. Who the hell are you, man? Who you be? Who you be? You know, you know, be anybody. And all of us, we will still reach that position. We will say we will feed directly the two things. We will say we want to. And you know the kind of campaign we will, we will do when that time comes? We will do the campaign, say some people that are not part of us, flesh and blood, they are here trying to alter the demographics of our region. We are not going to allow that. We are not going to allow them vote. We are not going to allow them stay if they cannot respect yourself. Yes, when that time come down at the time campaign, we will come out, come do. We no go hide mouths, come talk, say eh, this one, that one. No, we go tell them direct. See some people when they cross river come here, where well, they no be part of us. Some of them you say because they don't marry for you, say they because they do anyhow. No, we are going to send you packing. And that time, FG no go do anything about them, because the governor is the owner of the state. You go only make noise, make noise, make noise. You will, you have to move back to your region. You not pass like that. And that time is coming very, very soon, whether you like it or not. You can come under this page and cry, cry, cry blood. You know, consign me. But we don't talk, waiting, we will talk. We, where will we talk? And we know waiting, we will talk. And we know why we will talk. But that time, now so that campaign will go. Yes. And honestly, right? Being an indigenous of a place, like, it doesn't matter if it's your father or your mother, it is by how you see that particular region and by how you they carry on for head, how you they carry on for mind. Some people they will be say they're in Lagos, some say they're not be Lagos, but the way that they carry Lagos for head, and you go see Gufi say that they be Lagos and pass. Some people they uh, do stay, they do that stay, they other states will be say they are not from there, but the way that they carry on for head, now nah, that time you could not say, okay, this one, my nah, blood. Because you get sometimes we you get sometimes we be say family may be by blood though. <laughs> family may be by blood. And by how you carry some things now in the family. There are some friends that are better than family, honestly. Even some enemies they will be say them better past family. So when that time comes, I waiting it will be that say some people where they not be part of us because they don't establish themselves for yeah, they feel so they should come out on the disrespect us. We are going to demolish all their buildings. We are going to demolish all their factories here. If not hotel, we will demolish everything. They can go back to their lands. How much have you spent here? Take your money. And if you don't want to take, get out of our land. Yeah, since now the war will now they bring come, we will follow on our fight and because we will see everything we will now they do on top of Twitter. And we don't want to sell land to anybody because we don't want them to come and speak another language here. You don't want people to speak your own so you don't want people to mix your language, but you are doing it to other people. We will see. I hope you have listening. Before you as a Nigerian coming out to comment and insulting maybe Ghana, South Africa, and other neighboring African countries, trying to tell them that they are risky, first thinking about yourself from your home what you normally do to your own self maybe an example i'm an Alsa, and maybe an example i'm an Igbo. maybe an example i'm a do and i'm traveling to another state they say i'm a foreigner there in nigeria you know it happened this this one is happening steady steady happening nobody say uh, somebody you know, this one is happening in nigeria steady then imagine it's happened to a Nigerian to Nigeria. Then when you are a foreigner too from other country and you go to Nigeria, what do you think will happen to you as a foreigner too? If a Nigerian is a foreigner to some place in Nigeria, then what will happen to you? That means you as a foreigner that you are coming to Nigeria, you cannot be where accommodating. But Nigerians want to be accommodating outside Nigeria. Where even in our own country, between ourselves, we are not where accommodating. But you have to be accommodative in outside Nigeria. Any smart you say they are racist. What you like do most in Nigeria. Although, listen to this traffic video, then how did they take people do Girls as young as 11 years old, they will prize them sex trafficking. I'm not sure if Nigerians really know the enormous problems facing us now. Because the girls that are being trafficked, most of them do not have voices. 
these are girls that they go into the interiors to tell their parents, to tell them, oh, there's job outside, uh, we can help them to be, um, to be sweeping, to be, and they will be making money. They will not tell them that much, you see $1,000 in a month. These are people who have not seen $100 in a month, right? So those ones will even sell their things to give them their girls, girls as young as 11 years old. And when they get there, I give an example. I work with another organization, the Imali. As they are getting there, you see some women like we ourselves are already waiting. And they'll be like, okay, bring this one, bring this one. They will price them sex trafficking. They, they become sex slaves. So I, I believe you saw what happened just like two weeks ago that Madame Abikeda had to go to uh, Ghana to yes. bring those girls. How many were those girls? About 12 of them? Yes. And one of them actually was a sister to the trafficker. So we are having that problem. Now that, uh, and you people are bringing me more awareness that if people are claiming that I'm not a Nigerian, I'm a Ghanaian, and I, I, I keep telling you people that if I'm a Ghanaian, I'll be very happy. Honestly, I'll be very happy, but I'm not angry with my creator that make me a Nigeria. But if I, I'm a Ghanaian, as you claim, as those of you Nigerian claiming that oh, you are in Nigeria, you are a Ghanaian, you are not in Nigeria. Ah, ah, if I'm a Ghanaian, I'll be very happy, but I have not rejected being a Nigeria, and I have never, I can't say that I'm, I have regretted being a Nigeria because why. I can't blame my creator that make me a Nigeria. I can't blame him because he didn't have a reason to make me a Nigeria. I hope you understand. But as I said, as you claim, say that I'm a Ghanaian. If I'm a Ghanaian, I'll be very happy. Honestly, those who understand, understand. Because I'll be harassed in many ways in order traveling to abroad with Nigerian passports. With Nigerian passport, I'll be disgraced being in Nigeria. So, so, you see that? No be one, no be two, no be three. So imagine you as you are claiming that I'm a Ghanaian. If it's really I'm a Ghanaian, why am I here talking? Because more I travel, more I get injured. In the name of Nigeria, more I get pain, like I feel the pain pushing me here to talk more. Because if I do not talk, I have to talk because I feel the pain. I'm taking the innocence. I'm taking what, like I'm taking what people do where I don't know about it, like the cause of other people. That is what I'm taking upon me. It's just like now you do something wrong. You are not taking the punishment. Me that not doing the thing wrong are taking the punishment. That is it. Then I have to come out and talk boldly, telling you that this thing is pinching me, it's hitting me. Then you people are busy saying, oh, it's a Ghanaian, it's not a Nigerian. Oh, something is happening in Ghana. You can't talk. I'm in Nigeria. I can't just use my mouth and talk with thing. I can't just take my mouth and begin putting mouth for things that, you know, really... I'm not even the one, you know, say, I'm not the one supposed to be even, people who is their country, they are there fighting. And why, by the way, my country is falling down day by day. And there are Ghanaians already who are there fighting. You know, Ghanaians know they take nonsense. You know that one? I hope you understand. There are Ghan Ghanaians are there fighting for their country. So then can't come and tell me that eh, things is happening in Ghana. You are not talking. How do you take you no know, say things is happening in the Ghana if the people are not talking? It's because the people are talking. That's why you know say things they happen. That is Ghanaian for you. Now you can see that as they come out in number, the process, you see majority of people, you don't see nobody die, no violence, no injury, nothing. But can that can that happen in Nigeria? No, but when protest started, some people will use protest to steal. They will use protest to steal. That is what they do. Protest is an excuse in Nigeria to use it to steal. 
But if the same process are going on, you that comparing me to, to telling me that eh, they are if Ghana is your country and eh, you're from Ghana and there are, something is happening in Ghana and you are not talking about, but you know that Ghana have a lot of media who are talking about that thing. Because of the media is talking, that is the reason why you know see something is happening in Ghana. And at the same time, you know that something is happening in Ghana. Do you hear them fighting? Do you hear them say they burn something? Do you hear them say they burn car? All of them are at peace, even when they are protest. Do you hear say people people injured, somebody die? No. They are protest, nobody die. But can that happen in the same Nigeria? No. Protest in Nigeria is like an excuse for them to use it to steal. The youth who claim they are youth, the youth who are here trying to attack me or insulting me, the same youth, the same foolish youth, the same hungry youth. There's more time, they say government. Oh, government be this. But the same youth that you say government, if the same government is spoiled abroad, no, now you, the youth, go abroad, go spoil it. Go, now the same youth, they suffer. Now only when they suffer, <laughs> tell me if now only all, all of you they suffer. The, a lot of African countries they are suffering, but they also try to project their their identity in abroad. Everybody from Africa travel abroad to 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 earn a living, but they 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 not they not presenting a bad image like the way Nigerians went there and presenting the bad image. You went there and present a bad image. Ghana went to abroad with good, they project a good image. Other African countries went to abroad and project a good image. Now, Ghana government did not follow them go abroad, go, go. They don't follow them go abroad, do. But the youth of Ghanaians who travel abroad project a good image. And all that youth from other African countries went to abroad to protecting the good image of their own international passport. Why Nigerian went there to abroad and project a bad name of the bad project a bad name, bad image to Nigeria, claiming blaming on government? I will leave it here. But right now, I'm coming for you people now. Try to make you to understand that I'm 100 percent Nigeria. See me my next video and bye bye. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. No for God. Subscribe to Master Manager Nigerian News. Subscribe, okay.